all right in today's video i'm going to share a small tip which will help you to speed up the touch and hold delay on most android phones including samsung galaxy devices let me first tell you what exactly is this touch and hold delay all about let's press and hold on a particular application here we see this pop-up showing the options or functions associated with this app this gesture will respond only if you press and hold your finger for a particular duration. So the touch and hold delay is nothing but the time taken for this gesture to respond. This long press option is available for different functionalities on your phone and we use it more often. Now the response time can be tweaked to offer a quicker response when you press and hold on an item to take any action. So in this video, we are going to take a look at tweaking this option to get a quicker response to this gesture. Before I share this tip, let me request you guys to consider subscribing to the channel. I'm on my way to reach 10k subscribers, which may sound small, but it's a big number for me right now. So do support and do smash that like button if you find this video useful. Okay, now let's open settings, open accessibility. Here we have an option called interaction and dexterity. Open that and here we have touch and hold delay under touch settings. This is where you can make some changes and make the response time shorter. Here you can see we have 0.5 seconds which is by default. The rest of the options will only delay the response time. Now here we have custom option, just select that. You can see a touch pad here on which you have to press and hold to adjust the response time. We can only select anything about 0.2 seconds. It will not consider anything below this value. Now let's do this. I will press and hold this to reach about 0.2 seconds. This makes the response time 0.3 seconds faster. I know you must be wondering how does this 0.3 seconds even matter, but believe me, you will instantly notice the change when you press and hold an item after setting it to 0.2 seconds. The response time is much faster and it's actually a better feeling when you get the response so quickly. Have a look at the difference here. On Note 9, I have set the delay to 0.5 seconds, which is of course by default. On Note 20 Ultra, I have set it to 0.2 seconds. Let me just press and hold an application simultaneously and see the response time. We can definitely see the difference, isn't it? It actually feels better as well. Now let's set 0.2 seconds on Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and 0.5 seconds on Note 20 Ultra. And let's see how is the response. This is just to make sure that the difference in delay is not due to two different version of operating system. As we know, Note 9 is running on One UI 2.5 and Note 20 Ultra is on One UI 3.0. So have a look at the response here. Anyways, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. You can try this and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button as well. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.